Tasty, friendly, and beautiful. It's a Mexican wrap. I left Basiachi an hour and a half ago, and I wasn't filming any of it because it was pouring rain and 10 degrees. And now here I am. Uh, I was way back there where all those dark clouds are. And I'm heading that way, which looks much better. I can put the camera on and uh, take some layers off. The temperature's also gone from 10 degrees this morning to about 14 degrees now, so things are looking up. Huevos el gusto. So give it a try. here for a minute to strip off some more layers because it's now 23 degrees. <laughs> little Mexican traffic jam. <laughs> My friend says Oxo, which are everywhere, has nothing but crap. But actually I think Oxo is good for four things. SIM cards, recharging the data pack, coffee, and eggs, and they're open 24-7. and I am leaving Hermosilla. It was an okay stay. It's not a very pretty city. I think all the action happens out in the suburbs and the manufacturing places where all the cars are made. And the downtown core is not very attractive. But there's a pretty little cathedral and the hotel was good. There was a pool, so it was pleasant. As I'm getting close to leaving Mexico, I've been thinking about the best and the, the challenges of riding here. I'd say that the best thing has been the people. They have been so friendly uh, in spite of my awful Spanish and uh, helpful and just really, really pleasant. Uh, I've never felt unsafe here. Um, just really fun interactions. Uh, with folks. Uh, the second one has to be the roads. I've said it before, Mexico has the craziest roads. Uh, some of them have just been monumental um, and well worth the effort to get to. has to be the food. Uh, I have had some amazing food here. I haven't had a bad meal uh, and as you've seen I've been uh, eating in some pretty uh, local places. And challenges? Certainly the language. I do not have enough Spanish to engage people. I have enough to get by and to ask for things and to get what I need but not enough to really talk with people, which is really unfortunate because, you know, lots of people come up and want to chat and uh, you just miss out on that whole section. So language is definitely a challenge. The distance, this is a vast country and you can go for hours and hours and hours in the same direction in a straight line and that gets a little tiring after a while. Oh, the variable temperatures. <laughs> you know, you start out the day up in the mountains and it's raining in 10 degrees. You got every layer of clothing on that you've got. And by 10 o'clock, you know, you've descended down 
that it's clear and sunny and 31 degrees. My top four places in Mexico, my favorite places that I've ridden to. The fourth one would have to be the volcano. Just climbing up to 12,600 feet and the views uh, and the hike up to the crater with the dual lakes is really pretty special. Tecas. Beautiful city, very progressive. I was there on a Saturday night and there was so many people out in the streets having fun. It was, it was really nice. Lots of good food, lots of entertainment. A second top, and this is really a, a, a toss up between one and two or both in Copper Canyon. Bilo, uh, I never get these names right. Bilo Pitas? was surprisingly pretty, uh, this crazy little town down in the middle of, uh, of the canyon. Um, beautiful little hotel, very friendly people, just really pretty, swim in the river. And the second one was again down in the, in the canyon, uh, Eureka, with a lovely little commune. Again, amazingly friendly people and just a, a really surprisingly pretty little town um, in the middle of nowhere. So those are my top favorite places in Mexico. Uh, comment, tell me if you've been down here and where your favorite places are. This appears to be a big, huge solar farm. is straight as an arrow but there are still obstacles to be negotiated like that Hola uh, donde es uh, gasolina Gasolina um, en la Palma en Boulevard Aquel Okay um, Oh and down that way Okay gracias Quiereme oh. sígueme yeah. Okay. Oh, gracias. Seafood, which was very nice. I made it to my final stay in Mexico. The Posada La Roca Hotel. The guy is obviously motorcycle friendly. He has a 390 KTM. And uh, Faith is sitting right out front beside his bike. So that's a wrap of my Mexican trip. There's an interactive map in the description below. The whole trip was just over 13,000 kilometers and took 35 days to complete. If you have the opportunity to go to mainland Mexico, I highly recommend it. Gracias. Gracias, señor.